I'm Amara, I'm a student at Dartmouth College, and I love to code and dance. People always thought I was good with technical stuff, with computers and phones, and then I did Girls Who Code. And yeah, seeing other girls interested and realizing that it was more accessible than I think I thought was a good gateway into computer science. Welcome to Game Lab. Game Lab is a tool that lets you draw pictures, design animations, and build your own games with code. To create these animations and games, you'll be learning and using the programming language JavaScript. GameLab is designed with the beginning programmer in mind, but it also includes many powerful features to help you bring your creations to life. Let's get started! In GameLab, you can add lines of code to your program by dragging blocks out from the toolbox and snapping them together. Then click the Run button to see the result. The output of the program will show up on the left in the display area. If you prefer, you can also type the commands yourself. Either way you write your code, you can always flip between block mode and text mode. In fact, you can work in text mode and drag blocks out to insert the text. If you make an error, you can use the blocks as a way to check if it's the right command. If you want to get rid of a line of code, just drag the block off the screen. You can also delete it from the text. To start out, you'll be drawing with simple shapes like rectangles and ellipses. That's a fancy name for an oval. To change where shapes show up on the screen, you can change the numbers given to each command. The first two numbers set the position of the shape. The last two numbers change the size. Let's check out an example where we want to move our rectangle down the screen and then make it wider. In Game Lab, the X and Y position starts at the top left corner. If we want to move the rectangle down the screen, we actually need to increase the Y value. To make the rectangle wider, we'll also need to increase its width. Learning how to use new commands doesn't have to be trial and error. If you hover over any of the blocks, you can read more about how to use it and see detailed examples of each command. I don't know what I want to do after college, but I know that computer science will give me a lot of opportunities to work in many different industries, which is why I like it so much.